Imagine a machine that combines the firepower of a tank and the mobility of an armored truck, delivering troops into the heart of battle while offering protection and support. A vehicle that's not just a transporter, but a warrior in its own right. In today's video, we're diving deep into the story of the Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle, a symbol of modern military strength that has earned its place on the battlefield. Stay with us as we uncover the secrets behind this powerful machine, and by the end, you'll understand why it's considered one of the most reliable fighting vehicles in the world. The Warrior is more than just a military vehicle, it's a lifeline for infantry on the front lines, providing both protection and firepower. Developed by the British Army in the 1980s, the Warrior was designed to solve a key problem, how to transport soldiers safely into combat zones while also offering offensive capabilities. This wasn't just a simple armored truck, it was a fighting vehicle, armed with a powerful cannon and designed to keep pace with tanks. The Warrior represented a new era in battlefield tactics. Before the Warrior, armies relied on basic armored personnel carriers, APCs, like the American M113 or the British FV432. These vehicles did the job of getting troops to the front, but they weren't heavily armed. Once soldiers disembarked, the APC's role was over. This meant they couldn't stay in the fight. The Warrior changed this dynamic by combining transport and firepower in one platform. With its 30mm Rardin cannon and its ability to protect against small arms fire and artillery shrapnel, the Warrior could deliver troops and then stay to support them in combat. The Warrior's development began in the late 1960s when the British military realized it needed something more versatile than the aging FV-432. Military planners wanted a vehicle that could protect troops from small arms fire and artillery, but also provide enough firepower to take on light armored vehicles and enemy infantry. This led to the design of a vehicle that could both transport and fight. Thus, the Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle was born. The design team settled on a tracked vehicle, which gave the Warrior the ability to navigate rough terrain and keep up with main battle tanks. They equipped it with Chabam Armor, an advanced composite material that provided excellent protection without adding too much weight. The Warrior's armor was designed to stop everything from small arms fire to larger caliber machine guns, and even protect against artillery blasts. One of the key features of the Warrior is its turret, which houses a 30mm Rardin cannon. This gun can fire a variety of rounds, including armor-piercing projectiles that can penetrate light armored vehicles at ranges of up to 1,600 yards. While the Warrior is not meant to go head-to-head -head with tanks, it can effectively engage other infantry fighting vehicles and support infantry in combat with direct fire. The Warrior's secondary armament includes a 7.62mm machine gun, mounted coaxially with a main gun. This allows the crew to deal with infantry or light vehicles without wasting the more valuable 30mm ammunition. For added flexibility, the Warrior can carry man-portable anti-tank weapons, such as the Law Light Anti-Tank Weapon, which can be used by the dismounted infantry. Inside, the Warrior can carry up to seven fully equipped soldiers, in addition to its three-person crew. The soldiers enter and exit the vehicle through a rear door, which is electronically operated. This allows for quick deployment, essential during combat operations. Unlike some other fighting vehicles, the Warrior doesn't have firing ports for the infantry inside, focusing instead on maximizing armor protection for those on board. The vehicle is powered by a Perkins Rolls-Royce CV-8 TCA Condor diesel engine, which produces 550 horsepower. This gives the Warrior a top speed of 45 miles per hour on paved roads and a range of up to 660 kilometers. While it's not designed to be amphibious, the Warrior can ford water up to 1.3 meters deep, making it versatile in various environments. The Warrior was first deployed by the British Army in 1988, just in time to see action during the Gulf War in 1991. During this conflict, it proved its worth in the harsh desert environment, where it was used to support infantry operations and engage enemy vehicles. Its reliability and adaptability were clear, as it performed well in everything from open desert battles to urban warfare. One of the most memorable moments for the Warrior came during Operation Desert Storm, where it played a key role in the liberation of Kuwait. Warriors were used to protect infantry and spearhead assaults against Iraqi positions, often operating alongside British Challenger tanks. The combination of speed, firepower, and protection made the Warrior an invaluable asset during the campaign. After the Gulf War, the Warrior continued to serve in a variety of conflicts, including the Balkans in the 1990s and the invasion of Iraq in 2003. In each of these conflicts, it showed that it could adapt to different environments, from mountainous terrain to urban combat zones. 
the warrior became known for its toughness and ability to protect troops in the most dangerous situations. Over the years, the warrior has undergone a series of upgrades to keep it relevant on modern battlefields. One of the most significant upgrades has been the addition of thermal imaging systems, which allow the crew to see in low-light conditions and at night. This has been a game-changer for operations in environments where visibility is limited, such as during nighttime raids or in smoke-filled battlefields. Another major upgrade has been to the warrior's protection systems. The addition of applique armor has made the vehicle even more resistant to enemy fire, including rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs. This was especially important during the British Army's operations in Iraq, where insurgents often used RPGs and improvised explosive devices, IEDs, to target armored vehicles. Despite its age, the warrior remains a crucial part of the British Army's arsenal. Its ability to transport troops, provide fire support, and survive in harsh combat conditions makes it indispensable. However, modernization efforts are underway to ensure the warrior stays effective in future conflicts. Upgrades include new turrets with stabilized cannons and enhanced electronics to improve targeting and communication. While the British version of the warrior has been the most widely used, a variant known as the Desert Warrior was developed for the Kuwaiti Army. This version was equipped with an American-made turret, which included a 25mm Bushmaster chain gun and TOW anti-tank missile launchers. The Desert Warrior was tailored to operate in the harsh desert environments of the Middle East and provided Kuwait with a modern, flexible fighting vehicle. In total, 254 Desert Warriors were delivered to Kuwait between 1994 and 1997. These vehicles have been a key component of the Kuwaiti army ever since, offering them the firepower and protection needed to defend their borders. The Desert Warrior shares many of the same qualities as the British Warrior, including its durability and combat effectiveness. The Warrior's design is highly conventional but practical. With its driver seated in the front left, the engine positioned to the right, and the turret centrally mounted, the layout allows for efficient use of space. This design also ensures that the vehicle can quickly deploy its infantry while maintaining a low profile on the battlefield, making it harder for the enemy to target. One interesting feature of the Warrior is its ability to remain buttoned down for up to 48 hours. This means the crew and infantry inside can stay protected inside the vehicle, even in the face of nuclear, biological, or chemical threats. The Warrior is equipped with an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical filtration system to keep harmful agents out ensuring the safety of everyone on board. As the British Army looks toward the future, the Warrior is expected to remain in service until at least 2025, thanks to its ongoing modernization. However, newer infantry fighting vehicles are being developed, and the Warrior's eventual retirement is on the horizon. Still, its legacy as one of the most reliable and effective fighting vehicles in military history is secure. The Warrior's success lies in its adaptability. Whether it's crossing deserts, navigating mountains, or fighting in cities, the warrior has proven it can handle any environment. Its ability to protect troops and provide fire support makes it one of the most trusted vehicles in the British Army's inventory, and its contributions to modern warfare will be remembered for years to come. In conclusion, the warrior infantry fighting vehicle is more than just a transport, it's a symbol of modern battlefield strength and resilience. From the Gulf War to today, it has served with distinction, protecting soldiers and supporting them in the heat of battle. As we look to the future, the Warrior's legacy will continue to influence the design of new military vehicles. If you've enjoyed this in-depth look at the Warrior, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more stories about military technology and history. Don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us create more videos like this, and we'd love to hear what topics you want us to cover next. See you in the next video.